Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the channel and welcome to Eleanor, a game about being a detective in the 1940s in Los Angeles and we are going to give this game a try. It is an old game from way back when and it is going to be an exciting series. Um, I mean, th th this game just doesn't need any more introduction. Let's just head on into the game. And uh, yeah, we are going to be playing as Cole Phelps, who is the main detective in the game. And I think we're straight on into the first a new type of city based not mission. On a man. Let's see what happens. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Upon reflection. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know okay. what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. Mm -hmm. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the path, or whether it's your partner. Or maybe even the watch commander. Here we are. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind Cole. a long time ago. So it looks like we are a beat cop. Alright, 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. All right, 14 Go Adam. ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Roger, 14 out right. en route. So there's a crime. And now I'm in control of the game. Awesome. It plays Here just like GTA. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's Screw it. Ever the opposite. From the beam of sunshine itself. Alright, that's the siren going. I don't see any light. Oh, this is very um, how do I say? Sensitive. Looks like this is the spot we have to go to. All right, we're at the crime scene, Alloway Crime Scene at 10:11 p.m. Coroner is already here. Homicide. You might back up. Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting cool. took place down this alleyway. Oh no. We have the Vic Scooter Payton, a right. Negro male, bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Mm -hmm. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys mm -hmm. to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low light. Oof. I'm not expecting any miracles here. No, if we no, recover no. the weapon, bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We got places here. to be. Happy hunting. Okay. So remember, this is the 1940s, so racism was huge back in the day. Just going through the motions. Probably right. Alright, let's Just see. Get it over and done. RT to run. All right, Good to away. know. Oh, we'll we can kick right boxes. Yeah, it's pretty much like um, it's pretty much like uh, other Rockstar games. Of course, made by Rockstar in the in the past. Oh no, that's just the music. And when you hear a certain like tone, oh, like that tone, it vibrates my controller too. Okay, where are we? Something in the middle of the road, by the looks of it. Not my job to pick through other people's trash. Come on, can I please? I, I feel the vibration, but I I'm not. I am pressing X. Okay, there we go. There it is. Like okay, left to manipulate. I you, cool. I always get landed with this crap. All right, so that's how you do it. Finally got it. Jeez. All right, we're still walking around. We're never gonna find it. It's a waste of time. All right, bro, relax. Insta heat, another. Don't know how relevant that is. All right, we're gonna run. Guy said, take a look at this. So we're gonna run. Take a look at this here. Seems like this is where the victim was shot. Should Let's stay. Up against the wall and blew his brains out. Yikes. Hell of a way to go. Indeed, hell of a way to go. How you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Alright, I think it's just the blood stain here. No other relevant. Oh. It's the same blood blood stain, okay. Add it to my notebook. Okay, hold on. Something's up there. Ralph, there's something on the roof. Yeah. How the hell did you see that? Ooh. Reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right. All right. Don't hurt yourself. All right. So we need to find a way up to the rooftop. 
Let's see what we can climb. Anything else that is worthy of evidence? Roof, right? So we need to find a way up. Yeah, I think the drain pipe, drain pipe, sorry, is the way to go here. Oh, looks like we found something here. Let's take a look. Hmm. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Let's take a look at the gun here. Oh, there's something here. Smith and Wesson, serial S seven one eight nine three. Smith and Wesson revolver. Press A to further investigate an object. There we go. Two rounds fired. Two rounds fired. Yeah. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. Hmm. Interesting indeed. Hmm. Okay. We bag it for evidence. We follow up on this now before the perp tries to leave town. Indeed. He has a point. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some Sounds initiative, good. Ralph. Let's see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. All right, so we're heading on to the gun store before we hand it in for evidence. So let's head back to sure the... Not really our kid. I think that's Cole all the evidence we can find. The soup didn't seem to give oh, much of Cole is just jumping scout, around. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? All right, so across the road. let's go to the gun the store. The captain's foot up my ass. <laughs> It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Indeed, he does. So we have alleyway crime scene. Let's head on into the gun store. Uh, we could do with some. Oh God, I turned too soon. Anyway, we could do with some uh, evidence hunting. Oh God. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, you just stop in the middle of the road. Goodness me. Here we are at the gun store, finally at 10.28 p.m. Um, we gotta find who bought this gun, or who owns it rather. So let's take a look here. Walk in to the gun store and ask some questions. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson, Model 27, registered Magnum. Mm -hmm. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting <laughs> oh, he's goodness. the owner. No. He's I'm dead not. by you seem to know then, I think. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. Oh, you mind if I take a look? So it, my guess. that really narrows down our uh, right? list of suspects. All right, let's open the ledger. Twenty-seven with pearl grips, Cole. I love the you finger guy. <laughs> look at this, Cole. Stop circling around. Um. Anyway, so we need to look for entries. What was the serial number? It was S seven uh, something. So maybe this one. In luck. I'm oh, good. Sure. I'm a detective, Move guys. I'm good. Ordered the gun in February '46. All right, that's the Thanks info we help. needed. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. All right, sounds good. All right, let's check out this Mister or Miss Schroeder. I think Can it's a Mister Errol Schroeder. Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. That is true. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, so, then. Wait, why is this one not crossed out? Interesting. Okay, we're going to Shorter's apartment. Because I think we are set otherwise. Okay, I'm doing donuts in the middle of the road, actually. Because I have to go this way. Oh, the car I crashed into is still stuck there. That's jokes. All that F1 2020 gameplay did not help out my driving. Look at this. Just crashing into so everything. Hard, Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. Indeed. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name. If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. Oh goodness. Sorry, bro. Can you run people over? I don't know. I don't know where I have to go. 
Like, that yellow flag. Is there no waypoint? Oh god. I can't see anything, guys. It's so dark. And I can't bump up the brightness, so... Oh god, I'm so sorry. Screw it, siren's on. It'll give us- Oh my god, you're turning into me! God dang it, man. Um... Excuse me? Okay, car's dead. We need to confiscate your vehicle, sir. Sorry, sir. We need to accommodate your vehicle. I'm sorry, sir. Police Do officer, I pay the city I need all the these car. goddamn taxes and you need to take my car? Yeah, because you busted mine. <laughs> Get in, partner. <laughs> Get out of the way, bro. Here we are. Finally made it to Mr. Schroeder's place. Here we are. Schroeder's apartment at 11.13 p.m. Took me a while. And I stole a car. <laughs> so let's go. This seems to be his place. Does he live upstairs, maybe? There's some lights on, so there are some people indoors. Alright, let's see. Where does Schroeder live? Number two. So we gotta Schroeder, apartment two. go through door number two. Alright, let's go. Uh, upstairs we go. What else can we... Is this number two? Yep. FBI, open up! <laughs> what do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Uh -oh. And you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. Oh, no. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. Oh, it's probably not there, isn't it? Yeah, it's not there. What the fuck is going on here? You're under Ooh. arrest, Schroeder. Cup him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Oh, okay. He's not cooperating. Oh, God. Um... You ready, tough guy? Hey, oh god, what is this very... game mechanic? I have to hold left trigger. I'm just gonna spam A like Mortal Kombat or you know those, you know, those games. I'm just smashing him up. Okay, perform a grapple attack. Okay, is he still up? He still wants more. He wants to, you know? Okay, there you go. There we go. Ouch. Ralph, you all right? Ouch. I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He slipped. Lucky he caught me off guard. <laughs> all right. Him, Ralph. Let's take That's a look here. Around. There's a book. Let's take a deeper look into this. All right. So this seems to be a list of people he's meeting or it's stuff they owe him by the looks of it. Floyd Rose. Mr. Bay was in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Who was Floyd Rose? Well, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Ouch. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. I guess uh, we're not a detective just yet. Officer Phelps, that's 12. Yeah, good job, Cole. Oh, heading on into a flashback by the looks of it. It's a train station. When is this? Alright, bunch of people coming out. Cigarette. Oh, it seems to be military. Maybe recruitment. You dumb fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before Ooh. I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but excuse me. Fuck you. You say another word, and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Ooh. Some of us are here. For I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. <laughs> so it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quick. Yikes. All three of you are on report. 
What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Mary. Oh, so that's Phelps in the past. Maybe. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Ooh. All right. So there was that issue. These people are OCS. But whatever. It's a good flashback, I guess. Next mission is armed and dangerous. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that All needed right. an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. <laughs> You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were okay. here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. The force is like politics. The force is like You're politics. On the fence. You have to choose sides. So are we going to search Brown the guy who below. did it, the murderer? Greyhound ticket to Belugaville. It could only ever end. All units to 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Ooh. Savings and Loan. It's an active shooting, huh? Unit to handle identify code 3. All right. It's looking bad. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. All right. 14 Adam, be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Name of this mission. KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Don't make me drive. Okay, I'm driving again. Uh, number of casualties will be high, so get the ambulances ready because I'm going to run over people accidentally on my way to the active shooting where, of course, we also need ambulances. So may as well bring everyone along for the ride. Okay. Seems like other officers are here. Oh, no, no, no. We're the first officers here. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Am I getting a gun now? Oh yes, we got a shotgun, baby. Okay. Uh, everything. Okay, so it is left trigger to aim, just like GTA. Um, okay. I'm reloading. Can I break cover? Okay, there's a guy there. Peek, man. Peek. I mean, he's not gonna give up his weapon. He's still actively shooting. I'm reloading. I'll, I need to get off. Can I get off this? Is that his feet? Am I wasting ammo? Oh, I can move. Jeez. Oh, RB to exit and enter cover. Okay. Put your weapons down and your hands in the air. Oh, my aim is stupidly bad. Okay, got him. Okay. You. How many are in there? Take it slow. Backup will be here soon. All right. LAPD, put down your weapons. The we gotta find the bad guys. I'm offering you a chance. a chance. Okay, I found him. Oh god, my aim is off. Peek, buddy, peek. I dare you. Ah, oh, nearly. Just nearly. Slowly making our way in. Oh, I got him. Headshot, baby. Oh, I need to reload. Get back into cover. He's right there. There, I got him. Ooh, machine gun Kelly up there or something. Got you, buddy. There we go. That's it. We got them all. I think we got him, Cole. Should I hope all so. Alright, we're all clear. Ooh. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either gonna end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. Indeed. He was he was alright. For a change he was giving us cover fire, uh, unlike those other games where NPCs or AI just don't do anything. So, we know Cole went to the military, OCS. Guess this is what this happened kind of at boot camp. Comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans, the Japs love to shoot officers. Ooh. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future. Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. Ouch. They talk about officers like you and boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. 
Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Yikes. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Hmm. That is conflicting. So Kelso and Phelps had a bit of bad blood between each other. Central Police Station. Warrants outstanding. Jack Kelso. All right. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends. But their mm -hmm. personalities got in the way. Yikes. Phelps, a good guy. Wound way too tight. Yikes. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. So I guess Kelso and Phelps well, will come in contact again soon. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. <laughs> that is very true. Add the war to that. I see. I know that bomb. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. Oh, Get after so him, we're going to chase him. Alright, it's an uh, active foot chase. Alright, All right, it's an active foot chase. Active foot chase. Chase him. How do I grapple? How do I grapple? Oh, don't run me over. Garbage truck, please don't run me over. Oh, there he is. Our partner is making a run for it. Is he gonna run? Okay, he's running. Okay, we gotta jump. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, Don, watch your fire. All right. Oh God, go up, go up, go up, go. Cool, cool, cool. What are you doing? Get down from there right now. All right. We just have to press up. That is very simple game mechanics. I th oh, he's climbing that. Okay, I see, I see. Climb, 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 Cole. He's up there now. Where is he? He's across. Oh god. I thought that was a drop, but... There he is. It's so dark. This game is so dark. Oh wow, I nearly didn't make it. Give it up, Bowers! There's nowhere left to go! You made a left. Oh boy. What was that noise? <laughs> Alright. Let's fight. Street fighter. Street fighter. Street fighter. Just pump the buttons. Spam buttons. This, this you're no match to me. Street fighter extraordinaire. Boom. Sit down, son. Is that it? Are we done? Oh yes, we are. You doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. Caught him. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. Is he part of this the? This will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Is he part of the nice work, Cole. case? I don't you think run so. Run in high school. I guess I did. I mean, he was in the military, so I'm sure he did a lot of running with heavy equipment. Part oh, of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 10. Eight, Donahoe, six, Kowalski, six, Hudson, five, Kelso, Yikes. two, Kelso, two. Leadership. Donahoe, eight, Franklin, seven, Merrill, six, Kowalski, six, Weiss, five, Hudson, five, Kelso, one. Yikes. Kelso, Kelso not doing very well. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! Ooh, he rubbed. A lot of high-ranking officers the wrong way, I guess. Buyer beware, another mission. Hopefully it expands on the case that we're working car, on. There's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. Mm -hmm. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. Oh, active shooting. Your every average day America right there. Dang, he's already dead. Darn it. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? 
Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Yeah, but it's still important to get coroner reports and evidence. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. Nope. Oh. You got here quick. My beat crosses Seventh Street. Okay. Ah, You're he's a beat cop. Then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you. In All right, time. so we are back Crowded at it life. again. Crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Everybody wow. stay back. Let us okay. do our job. Point his face. Let's see if we can get any evidence off his face. Doesn't look like it. How you doing, bro? You'll survive. No, I'm just kidding. You're dead. <laughs> so. Let's check his inner pockets, maybe. Nothing there. Oh god. This is so sensitive, guys. Unbelievable. Okay. So, hand. Anything on the hand? No. Don't see anything. How about his other breast pocket? Okay, there is something there. What is this? Galetta apartment. Pearl earrings. 5250. Oh, are these payments? Huh. C. Galetta. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Alright, so that is evidence. Put that back in there. Uh, anything else we can look at? His other arm. Nothing else here. And let's take a look. I think he was here right we should make sure we check the whole crime scene before questioning the witness uh, so. can I, can I help? i'm officer phelps miss i'm here about the shooting did you know the victim <laughs> he was my boss all right mr gage mr gage mr. gage's first name everett everett and gage are... galleta Ooh, clovis, clovis galleta is she possibly the one Let's just go on the basic route here. Okay, questions are listed on the right. Okay. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. Mm -hmm. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. Okay. And we came back. I was it's telling angry. me to observe the witness well. I walked in front. Judge whether they are not I heard shots. whether or not they're telling the truth, okay? I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> Alright. Okay, if you think the witness is lying and you have proof, select lie to accuse the witness of lying, you'll need present evidence. She is press Y to accuse the witness of lying. She is hold on. Let's take uh Oh, that's pause. Oh, we can find a whole transcript of what she said. That is cool. That's the log, I guess. Shooting. I don't know. I'm gonna doubt because she is definitely too fidgety about this. I'm having a hard time oh, I think correct. That young lady. You want to be taken to a police cell? Oh, whoops. You're that's my bad. Older than me. Don't you dare talk to me that way. Never mind, that was bad. That was a bad. A man is dead, Miss Galetta. <laughs> a offense to lie to a police officer. I will take you downtown. Get out. I am doing horribly. Get out right now. All right, so let's restart, rewind the thing, and uh, let's go back and try to see if we missed any evidence. Take a look at his inner jacket pocket for that ledger or whatever that is. The Bank of Arcadia Pro earrings, like loan payment or whatever. Uh, pocket, nothing there. Alright, I think that was it. Over the body we go. Oh, there are bullet casings that we missed earlier. Shell casings. Like 32s. 32s, okay. 32 shell casings. Oh, oh we found the gun here too, so we need to look at the surroundings more. I missed this earlier. I just walked straight in. It's and browning. Serial number zero one one three eight. Zero one one three eight. So yeah, we might go back to. 
Okay, so maybe we should all go right, to the gun right. store. Yes, it's a dead oh, so he was ta talking to the people. Okay. This guy in the crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. Oh, where? You better take a statement. Where is this guy? Good to know. Oh, this guy? Let's talk. Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. Uh, I thought it was a car Wasn't firing. this guy that said uh, I saw a girl at the shoe store. Don't you people have anything okay. better to do? Is that it? Witness before homicide arrives, Phelps. If you think she's lying, don't be afraid to get forced with her. Verbally, of course. All right, buddy. And don't accuse her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. Yeah. And that was my fault earlier. Up, try the general approach. See what you can coax out of her. Roger that. Let's try to get this thing sorted. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. Mr. Gage fall, okay. So she was in front, she turned around, saw Mr. Gage fall, but... Okay, first off, we notice that she is very fidgety looking around, so... Let's... It's definitely not true. It was a, not a doubt earlier, so let's go with the lie. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. Okay. I've done nothing wrong. Um, How can you prove different? I think from here we have to use the voucher. Your pearl yes, earrings, we are right. Coletta. Okay. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying. That's right. And tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh God! I won't lose the earrings, will I? You can what lose the your freedom. <laughs> yeah. Goodness me, she's more worried Mr. about the earrings. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs, he the, runs jewelry the jewelry store. store. Okay. Oh, so this he is not a jewelry store, watch. right? Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Okay. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. I see. So it wasn't lunch. We get back here. It was a jewelry store. And I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. Okay, so he was shot from I behind. Hear another bang. And another. And it was a total another. of five bullets by the looks of it. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. Uh -huh. And it's very painful. Okay. And then he dumps the gun in the wastebasket outside. Okay, let's see. Possible murder suspect. Which jewelry store? Hartfield. Yeah. Broadway between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Ooh. Kalu looked very Mr. Angry. Kalu or Kalu? He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. Okay, do I have to say if this he is a truth or a lie? He could and turned and walked away. That's the truth. But yeah, there's doubt. Okay, so this is where doubt comes in. That infamous meme. Because to be telling the truth, she is too fidgety. She's not as fidgety as the lie, so this is a doubt. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Okay, there's Mr. more. Kalu there's more to Mr. it. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Ooh. Jews. Anti-Semitism. Yikes. It's not my fault if he has nice things. So he is a Jewish jewelry store owner. So he shot... Uh, okay. I don't know. It might be the other way around. Uh, we can look at the details later. Let's get the details of the shootings. Did you hear, Miss it's difficult to remember. There were five casings on the like floor. So many. Five or and six casings. So loud. Okay, so this is where truth comes in, I guess. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. So that it was pretty much like well, an introduction thing. to doubt, and lie, another, truth. And then three very quickly close together. Five. I was right. Five. Perfect. Thank you for your three help, out of three now. You're Let's go, brave. baby. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened, Mr. Gage. Does that mean I can still collect my... My... Just forget about it. Never mind. Your earrings don't matter right now. Yes, person's sir. dead. <laughs> Goodness me. Alright, any other evidence that we can... Any other clues that we can get out of the store? I don't think so, because the murder happened right outside. Oh, there are shoes here that I can look at. Optimistic, Cole. 
Nah, there's no relation to it. Some person tried them on and left or fled the scene after hearing gunshots, I guess. Alright. And the murder. Girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. Thinking what I'm thinking. Let's pay him a visit. Hey, maintain the perimeter. Let's go, partners. All right, I think we are done. So we're gonna go to the. Should we go to the gun store first or the jewelry store? Let's go to the jewelry store because he is the prime suspect. Oh god, freaking drive, bro! Oh, for crying out loud, you lot! This is Hartfield's jewelry store, 2:36 p.m., and I think this is where her earrings were purchased from. Let's go in. Let's. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? No, we know you Officer murdered Cole someone. Phelps. Are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Okay. We should probably run after him because he is Edgar Kalu. Oh god. Why am I running up? Oh, he's right there. Run, 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 run. Come on. Kalu! Get back here! I'm not gonna use a gun just yet. Can I shoot him? Oh no. Can I not shoot him? Okay, never mind. So I guess laws in the past were a lot stronger than now, because I know nowadays they just shoot you in these states. Like, listen to all the stories that come out on the news, they just draw their gun and shoot you straight away. I'm not gonna shoot where there's a bunch of civilians around. Come on. Oh, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Without a shot fire this time. Very important. Alright, we got him, we got him, we got him. Oh, arrested. You're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. Very nice. We got him. The case that makes you and the case that breaks you. Oh. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what ifs, the might have beens, hmm. the half leads, and the half truths. All right. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. Who's this guy? The Is he like the commissioner or like discuss. the boss? God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who knocked down malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, mm. a man of initiative. Indeed. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? Oh? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? Isn't that I a detective's no job? You've only been with us a short time and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. Gee. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to a Oh, my goodness. All right. A certain animal coming, lad. Oh, Do God. you think you might be ready for that? <laughs> doubt. Yes, X doubt. Doubt. <laughs> Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. Confession indeed. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. Oh, violence? No thank How you. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. Ay, ay, ay. Don't fail me. <laughs> what if I do fail? Is this game over? Like, credits roll as soon as I fail? Phelps never became a detective and he remained a B cop until his Has retirement. My arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. All You're right. going to have to pay for that. Good start. Good opening. Let's start with the first question. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe yep. store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Yep. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Ah, oh, bummer. We should have gone to the gun store, shouldn't we? Okay. 
okay intuition is like a hint i guess so let's view our notebook hold on i need to review the transcript gage was a bastard whatever he got he got what was coming but it had nothing to do with me well we do have let's take a look at our notebook we do have um sp suspect positively identified so we lie you shot gage and we know why we can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. We have a testimony from uh, uh, Miss Galletta. We know all about the argument. Miss Galletta made a statement. You're you're counting on the girl. You think her testimony is going to Oh yeah, up because she's an adult. You're going to the gas chamber, Oof. Edgar. Yikes. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Yikes. Okay. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change okay, the subject. Okay, we're going, going to religion. Fucker, Yikes. Baseball. You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Indeed, Some it is People not. don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what mm -hmm. you're talking about. Wait, do we have evidence? Ah, uh, yeah. I think it's a lie. A lying, Kalu. I think you lent Gage money and he owed you payment. I don't know what you're talking about. Um Yeah, this one, right? I'm done. Oh no, it's not. I oh left god. Your gum somewhere else. I want my lawyer. So here's the thing. We have that statement. Yeah, this one. We do have that that we can pin on him. But it's only a slight movement of the face, so I'm gonna doubt. You left wing leaning parasite. There we go, you correct. Me okay. To sit here and listen to your drivel. You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! You and that stump gauge! Okay. Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He Ooh. blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Okay, I think that's Mr. a confession. Kalu. I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy, right. sir. We got a confession. There we go. That's how you do it instead of the way I did it the first time around. Masterfully done, Officer. Hey. Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, Ooh. young Phelps. The department needs heroes. Heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits. Ooh, two Get suits. Nice. You'll be needing. Awesome. So we are bumping up the ranks to detective. Starting as a beat cop and now a detective. That was good. That, that was a good intro. Um, I struggled a couple times, but definitely a good start to a game. Past patrol complete. Your actions have earned you a promotion. Prepare for reassignment, indeed. And I'm gonna leave the first episode here. This is the pilot episode, of course, and we will be playing through the whole game and all the missions that will be coming up later in the game. So this is gonna be a full playthrough. First episode, a great start. Um, getting to know the game gaining a feel of the game and it has been a lot of fun playing it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe using the red button down below and hit the notification bell so you're notified when the next video goes live and until next time please take care of yourselves and i'll see you then take care now